Hello everybody, welcome to Bridge Chapel's Thought for the Day. Today we're going to look at Miriam. When I was first asked to do Miriam, I thought, great, Miriam who looked after Moses in the bulrushes and the basket, and that's all I really knew about her. But I've really, really enjoyed getting to know the story of Miriam throughout her adult life as well. We're going to look at it in three points, it kind of splits nicely into three. We find protection in Exodus 2 verses 1 to 10. We find praise in Exodus 15, 19 to 21, and we find pain in Numbers chapter 12. And we also see Miriam mentioned in Micah 6 verse 4, where, we, where it describes her as a leader, and her death is recorded in Numbers 20. So first of all, when we see Miriam, we see a young girl who is sensible, trustworthy, and calm thinking. She is tasked with watching over the basket that Moses was in, which her and her mother might have made, um, waterproof basket when he was sent down the river by his mum when he was about three months old getting a little bit too old to be concealed from the Egyptians who wanted to kill him Miriam was to stand afar off and watch where the basket went when, Mo when Pharaoh's daughter saw the basket she opened it and took pity on the crying child and Miriam offered shall I go and call a nurse from the Hebrew women to nurse the child for you so she was told go so she went to get her mother that was brave and confident of that young girl, whether it was planned or not, very quick thinking whether she knew what she was going to say or she just thought of it on the spot. But anyway, she's only between the age of seven and 12, possibly. So that was Miriam as a young girl, what we know about her. And how good is God that he protected Moses from death and used Miriam in that? So after seeing Miriam as a responsible young girl, we see her in a leadership position praising God. And we see in Micah chapter 6 verse 4 that she is a leader amongst the Israelites with her two brothers, Moses and Aaron. I am one of three, there's me and two brothers. And what a blessing that would be, how I would love to be able to serve God alongside my brothers. What a blessing that was for those siblings. So, as I said, Miriam's a leader and the Israelites were under slavery in Egypt Moses leads them out of slavery and God parts the water for the Israelites to pass through the water but caves the water in on the Egyptians who are pursuing after them. Just after this Miriam then took a tambourine in her hand and it says in the Bible all the women went out after her with tambourines and dancing and Miriam sang to them. Sing to the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horse and the rider he has thrown into the sea. How, God is, how good is God that has delivered the Israelites from Egypt? Thirdly, we're going to look at pain. Now, after years of wandering in the wilderness, just before the spies were sent to check out the promised land, Miriam and Aaron spoke out against Moses because of a Cushite wife that he had married. And they said, Has the Lord only spoken through Moses? Has he not also spoken through us? The Lord heard it. Moses was a meek man. Suddenly the Lord spoke to Mo Moses, Miriam and Aaron. The Lord said, come to the tent of the meeting. The Lord came down in a pillar of cloud and stood at the entrance of the tent and called Miriam and Aaron. They both came forward and he said to them, I make myself known to prophets in a vision and speak with them in dreams. Not so with Moses. With him I speak mouth to mouth clearly and not in riddles and he beholds the form of the Lord why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses the anger of the Lord was kindled against them and he departed when the cloud was removed over the tent Miriam found herself leprous white like snow Moses cried to God oh God please please heal her that shows how much the brothers love Miriam the Lord healed her immediately, but she had to be put out of the camp for seven days. The people never marched until Miriam was restored back to the camp. How good is God that he justly punished Miriam, yet he healed her immediately too. I enjoyed studying Miriam and I, I encourage you to read it too. Altogether, there's about 30 odd verses that covers her life. I'm thankful that God has encouraged me through Miriam that he loves us and shows us he is just in punishing sin and he's merciful to us through healing Miriam. Thank you, Lord.